Today I have a beautiful unisex niche gem and I'm also giving away a full bottle of it. Cue the music! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys an incredible niche fragrance by the house of Elisir and it's called Jasmine Paradis. So as some of you may already know, I'm a huge lover of jasmine in perfumery and I'm always on the hunt for new jasmine scents because I simply cannot get enough. I was in New York last year for an event called Scent Explorer and I had the opportunity to visit a boutique called Perfumery, which by the way, I highly recommend checking out once things open up. Long story short, I discovered the house of Elisir and this gem right here has been an obsession of mine ever since. But before we get into the smell, Let's take a quick look at this beautiful bottle. Honestly guys, this bottle speaks for itself. It's an instant eye catcher and people always seem to gravitate towards picking this up from the shelf before anything else. It's a simple design, yet it gives off a very clean, sophisticated and luxurious feel, which also happens to be a perfect match for the scent itself. The crystal on top does run the risk of being a bit cheesy, but here it's done very well and both the bottle and the cap are super heavy and high quality unlike some bottles. Jasmine Paradis opens up incredibly crisp, sparkling and effervescent. And the main notes I'm picking up are a citrusy blend of bergamot, grapefruit and neroli. Right away, you're instantly reminded of some sort of paradise. And these notes give off a very bright and full of life sensation. There's also a greenness that enters soon after, which is most likely coming from the mate. And this creates a really nice balance of a fresh and slightly sweet citrus with an underlying bitterness. The mid is where the jasmine in this composition really begins to shine. Frank, who's the founder of Elisir, shared with me that they use three different types of natural jasmine coming from Egypt, India, and France. Needless to say, if you're a true jasmine lover, you'll be blown away by this. It's not the type of jasmine that you find in a lot of designer fragrances that usually are sweetened up by a lot of synthetic notes, but more of a pure and natural jasmine mixed with that underlying greenness. Finally, the dry down becomes a bit warmer and slightly mysterious with the introduction of incense. I find that it complements the jasmine very well and it provides an added layer of depth, which makes it more sensual. From a sparkling citrus to a pure and rich jasmine and a woody floral ending, Jasmine Paradis is extremely enjoyable from top to bottom. Jasmine Paradis is an extra de parfum concentration, which means it carries a very high oil content. Most of the time, this results to a fragrance with a more delicate sillage, but incredible longevity. This fragrance is just that. I'm getting around one to two hours of moderate projection, but the longevity is easily overnight. I sometimes spray this on before bed because to me it has a very calming effect and I still smell it the next morning. In terms of seasons, Jasmine Paradis is definitely best for spring and summer, and I find it to be more of a daytime scent. While I do think this is very versatile, something about this DNA feels a little bit more upscale and elegant to me. I feel that it will work best slightly more dressed up, and for some reason, I can see this fitting um, a CEO or some kind of boss of high regard. Pricing on Jasmine Paradis is definitely not cheap, but I do consider this to be a luxury niche brand and the quality justifies the price. The 30ml bottle, which I'm giving away to one of you, goes for $125 USD and the 50ml goes for $225. Also keep in mind that this is an extra de parfum, so a few sprays can go a very long way. When it comes to compliments, I think this will be most appreciated by an age range from 25 and up. I find this to be more of a clean and sophisticated scent rather than a sexy and playful one. But I can tell you that I've gotten some very positive feedback from this. I'll also add that even though I find this fragrance to lean slightly feminine, it definitely can work on a man because of that green and woody aspect to it. Overall, my rating for Jasmine Paradis is 9 out of 10. Giveaway time. So, in order to enter for a chance to win this brand new 30ml bottle of Jasmine Paradis, which Frank is generously offering to my subscribers, you must do four things. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up, leave one comment down below, and go follow Elisir Parfum on Instagram. All links and info will be in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.